Hello everybody, welcome back to our Latin Wars campaign in room two as the Sam Knights. Where today we're fighting in Rome, so let's without further ado, let's get started. We have no ranged units, but I believe our Sam Knight warriors carry javelins. And apparently Tarquinia is very, very small. Like very, very small. I thought Tarquinia was one of the most developed cities aside from Rome in the entirety of Italy. But, eh, that's debatable. Yeah, the Ligurians have a lot of slingers. And aside from those slingers, all they have is those four melee units you can see in the top right. The Oatsworn, the Spear Warriors, the Celtic Tribesmen, and the Mercenary Celtic Warriors. So this should just be a stomp of these Ligurian troops. So where do we want to attack? We might go for this tower right here. So we can take a unit, take this gatehouse. Eh. We might be able to get in right... No, we're not going to be able to get in right there. Okay. I feel like we defended this once before already. That's whatever. Yeah, we're gonna take this tower right here. I also kind of don't want my general on a siege engine. You're going over here, buddy. Okay. Get the guys set up. Let's start. Okay, you're going there, and you're going there, and you're going there, and you're going there. Let's get these warriors up. Just out of range of those towers. I want my general to move up over on this flank. I don't want them to use all of their ammunition for their slings. So if we have to pull back, you know what, I'd rather stay ensure that we're not going to get picked off by some of those slingers. At least until the ladders get somewhat close. Okay, yeah, we're pulling back here. Yeah, no, we're not We're not working with that. I think we're going to be out of range in just a bit. Alright guys, get into a shield ball. Just make sure that none of you die. Ah, no. No, you can do it. Get around it. No. No. Go over there. Now go over there. Now go to the wall. There you go. Didn't ever think I'd have to micromanage a siege tower, but okay. move on. Yeah, I need to make sure that I actually keep talking. I had that issue, I think, in the last episode. I might go back and narrate over it. I'm not sure! <laughs> but I feel like I'm not talking enough for the actual commentary that this mod deserves. So what are those? Those are the Celtic Warriors. Uh, they have their spearmen. Yeah, Ligurian Spears. Wait, are these the Celtic Tribes looking men? No, those are the Spear Warriors. These are the Celtic Tribes men. Yep. You can see by their dinky, pointy hats. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, we're chucking some javelins up there. That's nice. Not a lot of them are doing anything whatsoever, but that's okay. One thing that we have succeeded in doing is neutralizing this gatehouse, or this arrow tower. And because our units are just so much better than theirs in melee, 
We're just slaughtering all of them. Yeah, we've lost like 10 men so far. 18. Never mind. 20. Okay. But we want to take out these Celtic warriors. You guys need to come back here and take out the Celtic warriors. Take out the slingers, take out the tribesmen. Alright. <laughs> I'm also trying to enjoy the music because this is so. It's such a good soundtrack. Alright, where are these guys? Okay. Everyone's doing their tasks. I want to make sure that I don't bunch up too much in case their slingers decide to get off the walls and start slinging up at us. But yeah, earlier today, today being Saturday, uh, I had a fun experience. I'm a part of a guild on Warhammer 40k Eternal Crusade, and that guild is for, I believe it's for Surreal Beliefs, Tokshin, and Lincoln. I believe it's that those three are, are the main three that run the guild. And it was a lot of fun. We did like probably seven battles, maybe eight. And I had a ton of fun. If you guys haven't joined a guild for any game whatsoever, just do it. Even if it's, you know, the guys in it are assholes or whatever. It's hilariously fun. And I can totally recommend Warhammer 40k Eternal Crusade. Just because, I don't know, it's Warhammer, and it's just so good. Oh, uh, this is what I was afraid of. Oh, uh, this is exactly what I was afraid of. Can you guys throw javelins down at them? No? Okay. Let's see if I can get these guys on this side. Well, there you go. Gonna move on. We only need the one unit engaged in melee. If we can spread out enough, we might be able to resist some of the casualties from these slingers. And if we can break through these Ligurian tribesmen, then it will be that much quicker. Okay, there we go. We're throwing javelins. I think um, our troops have a lot more javelins than we give them credit for. Uh, there's a lot of javelins. Guys, throw your javelins at them. You do a ton of damage. If they were archers, they'd probably do more. But I see javelins falling on them. They're not killing too, too many. They're just getting stuck in these guys' shields. I don't know how this guy's arm isn't broken, but that's okay. Alright, the Celtic warriors are almost dead. I think. I'm not, I don't know, I'm trying to find one. There's 46 of them. That's a decent. Um. Alright, come on, finish these guys off. Finish them off, guys. We gotta get down there and take care of those slingers. Yeah, Samnite Warriors are not an attacking infantry for certain. Oh, we could have avoided so many of these casualties. If only I had taken like one ladder out here, maybe. Wait, where are my drawing tools? I thought I had drawing tools. Yeah, they're not here. Wow, I thought they'd be up here that I could just draw an arrow. And you guys can't even see, but I'm going around, like, probably around this house down here. And then up to this fort wall by the gate. <laughs> I don't... I think I was editing one of these videos and I saw that my cursor doesn't pop up. <laughs> so that was an interesting experience. It's prob It probably avoids a lot of headache, though, for the viewers. So I can understand why... It would automatically set it to where it did. 
Okay. Yeah, these guys are going to die. Um, you took that group. Medium threat? What? I guess it's because we're at a distance? Hey, why are you guys, like, stopping? Oh, they're all getting on one side of the wall. Okay. But, as I was saying, um, Sam Knight Warriors aren't an aggressive infantry. They have a lot of armor, a decent amount of defense, good morale, good health. But their melee attack is something to be desired because if you take two-thirds of that number and then if you added it again, you'd probably get an Evocati or Veteran Legionary. An Evocati Cohort or Veteran Legionnaire. Uh, these Ligurian Spearmen, uh... Hey, you guys that have javelins, toss them over. Can you toss them over? No. Well then, charge through. Go. We're gonna slaughter these slingers. Oh, people yelling outside. Okay. Can one of you guys get down here and attack these troops? Okay, we got a few of them down here. I think the slingers are going to get away, though. Yeah, these troops are really tired. I'm going to want to bring in fresh troops. So let's start bringing these Sam Knights up to the wall. Get one there. Get one there. And get one there. Yeah, we can bring up the hoplites as well. Well, the Sam Knight Nobles. I was about to say Bactria because they're blue and red. Oh man, that would have been a massive mistake on my part. Let's keep fighting. So, another thing that happened recently. Um, we finished our Hearts of Iron campaign. Oh, most of it. What I'm probably going to end up doing is setting it to record without any audio until the invasion of Japan happens and I'm just gonna narrate over it as like a channel update so that I'm not trying to focus on a game while I talk and give you guys news about the actual channel and what's going on in my life that can make it very difficult to record because we've done the past few in Napoleonic Wars, and that's been a lot of fun. But I think it's time for a change. Oh, yeah, I need to set you guys to not throw your javelins, because I want to use them on the Oathsworn. Yeah, we're doing really well. Where's the other unit? There's another unit of warriors. Chase them out. Just, just go and chase them out. Come on, get, get information, at the very least. Let these other Sam Knights deal with the last of the uh, Ligurian Spears. And then these troops, since they're already damaged, will go over and capture this gatehouse so that I can get my Sam Knights, my Sam Knight nobles, around the uh, housing block without being fired upon. And they can throw their javelins into the back of these oats horn that will be engaged by these Sam Knights up here. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and move the noblemen down just so that they're ready to go when I need them. And I don't think any of them are going to rush through to the other side. Yeah. So make sure you guys let me know what you guys want to see as the next series to replace Hearts of Iron. If you want me to do more Hearts of Iron, that 
I, I already actually have a straw poll up, and a couple of people have voted on it, and I had it in the description of a few videos. But I want a more cohesive answer. So if you guys watch this, just let me know in the comments if you guys want to see Hearts of Iron 4, Hearts of Iron 3 of South Africa, like EU4, CK2, something like that. Or if you want me to do something else entirely that isn't a Paradox Grand Strategy game. Because I'm game for that too. I could record some Eternal Crusade, maybe. It's really unoptimized right now. But if that's what you guys want to see, then that's what you guys want to see. Nope, nope, I need these guys. And I'm more than happy to record a game at 30 that you guys are going to be seeing at 30. And I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I need to stop like talking about stuff that isn't the game, but you know, the siege is a siege. We're going by very slowly. There's tons of dead guys all on the walls here. Most of these guys on the edge are mine because of the slinger fire. And we've got a trickle of men. These are all men that the arrow tower from the gatehouse killed. All right. Well, our arrow tower is already firing down. So <laughs> I guess if we waited here long enough, then the Oatsworn would die, but I don't know about that. That seems a little... Alright, we're gonna capture that gatehouse. I'm gonna start moving the Samnite nobles around to the flank. Because I think those are these... those are their last two units. Oh, they do have these Ligurian Slingers. You know, getting hit by some by a very small number of sling rocks. But just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna send the guys to the wall with their shields facing out. Oh, our arrow towers are shooting at them, so they're going to die anyway. Or one would hope. Okay, let's go ahead and get a move on around this flank. I can't remember what see. Oh wait, no, I remember. This see the the reason why this map looked familiar was because it was part of the siege in episode four that got corrupted. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. And I went completely silent throughout the whole like siege because I was focusing too hard on the battle itself. What are these guys doing exactly? They're like pressed up against the wall. <laughs> They're all gonna die. Oh, uh, they've got... Oh, man, that guy has an arrow sticking, like, straight out of his shoulder. Oh, that one deflected off of him. I don't know how, but it did. Oh, that guy. Oh, man, he ate it. <laughs> oh, man. How are you not dead? <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> He's still on fire. Man, these arrow towers are really accurate. Oh, right in the back of the head. <laughs> oh, that deflect. Oh, man, he ate it. <laughs> I don't know. This is one of the funnest things about this game. Is just seeing the death animations from people dying to arrows. Alright. I think it's time we go ahead and launch the attack. Yeah, they've lost like 15 men due to the arrow towers, but we're going to go ahead and charge right in. Um, are you guys tired? No, you're fresh. Good. So by the time you get here, you might be active. This must be scary. Just however many Samnite troops that we have. Alright, these guys ate most of the javelins. All right, they didn't get the second volley off. Good. Oh, they they did headhunt. 
I know it's not a good thing to blob your troops like this, but it's like, why not, you know? If we've got men that are going to have javelins, that might help them, actually, to wrap around the side and open them up to these arrow tower fire. This arrow tower fire, not these arrow tower fire. There's just one. Alright, guys. Toss them. Oh, man. The kills. Alright, that was 33. Maybe we're going to get on this next one. Come on, guys. Toss your javelins. I believe. Alright, we got another... Uh, probably 15. And then we'll charge in, finish them off. Yep, they're broken. Rip in pepperonis to that Ligurian army. I forget, was this the force that took Rome? They took it back after we fought the other army in the field and pretty much decimated it beyond repair. All right, let's occupy the city. Okay, good. So, we'll demolish that, demolish that, demolish that. All right. A military fort might be good. What have we got, two reserve spears? I'd rather have the four. And we can get an upgrade for the general. Plus one growth. Yeah. Minus three authority. Okay, you're, you're going to be a zealous general because reasons. We have plenty of money as well. It's really mm -hmm. impressive. I also kind of want to take Spalletium uh, very soon. All right, are we all healed up here? Yeah, we're good. We can leave this. Let's start heading for Genoa. Oh, there's no one here. Well, there's a fleet that's recruiting one boat. Eh, the mercenary Italian Kev, or do I want this half unit of Lancers? I'd rather save the money. This Venetic Kev might be good. Then we have these Udes over here. I don't think they're a strong enough force to take anything. They could take a Redium. If we can, en if we end up engaging their army, I'll take Iridium for us, and then we'll take Spletum with the Samnite warriors. And our main army can come down to Philothri, and that'll be the end of Liguria. Right? Yeah, that's all four of their provinces. And then we can start our incursion into Cisalpine Gaul. That'd be good. That'd be very good. So let's go ahead and end the turn and see what the Ligurians decide to do. They have that large army, but it's mostly like half units at this point. I think they've only had two turns to recover. We've got Senegalica covered. Uh, that's agent activity. I can tell that's agent activity. There's a rebellion in Campania. Okay. I guess I'll raise a new force. Yeah, Decimus Brutus. Serpents of Tchilcha. Once again. I have some reserve spears. I don't really care about that too much. We'll pick up some companion cav and we'll just tear right through them. Because I think here in Capua we have a decent garrison, right? Yeah, we have like five reserve spears to engage them in melee with. Alright, they didn't move anyone back up to Ligurian. Yeah, they poisoned us. 
Dang it. That irks me. They have a spy. Oh, these are all venetic. Ah, jeez. So, uh, yeah, this is why I hate <laughs> um, agents. <laughs> they just sit there and they completely destroy everything. In fact, I don't think we need to... Yeah, we got the backup. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we'll pick up the companions. We have this one boat down here. I mean, I guess it's not that bad. Faction destroyed the Insubres. Oh, the, the Venity took them out. Okay. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and end another turn. Hope that we don't get sabotaged again. Because that would just be ridiculous. Oh, we have a battle. That's a lot of slingers. But... You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go aggressive stance. We're gonna try and take out whatever we can next turn. We're just gonna start a siege around Rome. Because this populace right here is very unhappy. Uh, that's all they did. That's all they did? Yeah, I'm not taking a side in your fight. God, they love looting Rome. <sighs> I have to repair all these buildings again. <laughs> repair the things that make me money. <laughs> Wait, I can't repair this? Okay. Now there's an even larger force. But this time we have a bunch of companion cav. Okay, they have swordsmen. <laughs> Yeah, they don't stand a chance. Go and... You know what? I think we're close enough to the time... For the timer that we'll start this episode... Or the next episode with this battle. So, I hope you all enjoyed. It's been a lot of fun. But, so long for now.